Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of integration. And in this question, we have been told that integral of a fraction dx, that fraction is given as numerator as 4 e raised to x, 6 e raised to minus x, denominator is 9 e raised to x minus 4 e raised to minus x. They have told us that this fraction is equal to ax plus b log to the base e 9 e raised to 2x minus 4 plus c. So this is the entire thing we have been told. And further, the four options that we have been given are a is equal to 3 by 2, b is equal to 35 by 36, c he is telling us c is indefinite and d that is told us a plus b is minus 19 by 26. Now we need to find what are the correct answers and this question is a multiple answer question so you can have more than one answers correct also right. So in this case after just seeing the options I can definitely say that this is a question of indefinite integration where we do not have the limits with us. Right. So this C is nothing but an integration constant. So C has to be definite in that case. Option C is the correct one till now. But let's entirely solve the question and then find out which of them are the correct options. In this. Right. So let's start to solve this question. Now, whenever we have an integration of a fraction here, I can convert that entire fraction as like this. Let's see. 9 e raised to x minus 4 e raised to minus x dx. So for such fractions, we always follow that idea which we have learned here that numerator, I can write that as a into denominator. And since here they have already used a and b here, let's define some other variables instead of a here. So let's take it as alpha. So alpha into denominator plus b or instead of b, I can also use beta so beta into derivative of denominator right so if i try to write the numerator now numerator i can write that as this is 4 e raised to x plus 6 e raised to minus x is equal to alpha denominator is 9 e raised to x minus 4 e raised to minus x plus beta Derivative of denominator is 9. Derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x only minus 4. e raised to minus x, the derivative is e raised to minus x into minus 4. So that gives you alpha 9 e raised to x minus 4 e raised to minus x plus beta 9 e raised to x minus minus plus. So plus 4 e raised to minus x. So now if I see with e raised to x, I can have the term 9 alpha. Here I have 9 beta and further with e raised to minus x. So this is with e raised to x and with e raised to minus x, I have minus 4 alpha plus 4 beta. Right? This is equated with 4 e raised to x plus 6 e raised to minus x. So now if I compare both of these ideas, I know here that I can have two equations where 9 alpha plus 9 beta is equal to 4 and minus 4 alpha plus 4 beta is equal to 6, right? So 9 alpha plus 9 beta, coefficients of e raised to x I'm equating, I get one equation in terms of alpha and beta. Equating the coefficients of e raised to minus x, I get the other equation also. So now, if I solve these two expressions, two equations, I can get the values of alpha and beta from here. So let's try to solve the two equations now. 9 alpha plus beta, I can write it as 4, right? And the second expression I have here is, let's say if I take out 4 common, I get minus alpha plus beta is equal to 6. So now I get here alpha plus beta is 4 by 9. And here I have minus alpha plus beta is 6 by 4. If I try to solve this further, let's do that and find the values of alpha and beta. 
So adding the two equations, I can directly eliminate alpha. So if I add the two equations, alpha minus alpha becomes zero. Beta plus beta becomes two beta. That's equal to four by nine plus six by four. So it becomes 16 plus 40, sorry, nine six is 54. 16 plus 54 upon 36, that is 74 plus six. So beta becomes 70 by 72, that is 35 by 36. Right, so I get beta as 35 by 36. Now, if I solve this to get A or alpha also, alpha becomes 4 by 9 minus beta, so 4 by 9 minus 35 by 36. Now, if I make the denominator same for the first fraction also, I need to multiply this with 4. That gives me 16 minus 35, so minus 19 upon 36. Right? So this becomes minus 19 by 36. So now, if I have found alpha and beta, I can directly write my entire numerator as alpha into denominator plus beta into derivative of denominator. So beta into 9 e raised to x plus 4 e raised to minus x. So now, if I write it, I'll write it in with another color so it is understandable here. I can write it in the next step also. Numerator that was 4 e raised to x plus 6 e raised to minus x. Now it's equal to alpha that is that came out to become minus 19 by 36. So minus 19 by 36 into denominator that is 9 e raised to x minus 4 e raised to minus x plus beta. What is beta's value? 35 by 36. I can write it as 35 by 36 into derivative of the denominator. So 9 e raised to x plus 4 e raised to minus x. Right? We had this integral with 9 e raised to x minus 4 e raised to minus x dx. So if I write this entire numerator, this denominator, if I divide it, 9 e raised to x minus 4 e raised to minus x. So now if I further try to solve this, what I get? Minus 19 by 36. This upon this, so basically both of them are the same terms, right? So both of them can easily get cancelled and you have 1 here plus 35 by 36. Again, this upon this. So here you have 9 e raised to x plus 4 e raised to minus x upon 9 e raised to x minus 4 e raised to minus x dx. Now, I can see if I put this as t, this is nothing but the derivative of that t. Right? So, I can see a derivative upon a constant term is present. So, if I put this as t, this is the derivative of that. So, I can write this entire thing as so this further, if I see minus 19 by 36, integral 1 dx, this becomes 35 by 36. Integral of 1 by t dt, that gives me log of t dt. So it becomes minus 19 by 36. Integral 1 is x plus 35 by 36. Log of t. So t here we substituted as this. So I resubstitute, I get 9 e raised to x minus 4 e raised to minus x plus c. C is your constant of integration. So integration constant here that can hold indefinite values because we do not know the limits of integration, right? Since this is a question of indefinite integration, you have an integration constant which can hold indefinite values here. Now let's try to solve this further and try to convert this entire expression in the question given that ax plus b log of 9 e raised to 2x minus 4 plus. So let's try to solve that. So let's try to convert now this in terms of 9 e raised to 2x minus 4. So if I do that minus 19 by 36x plus 35 by 36 log. This I can write it as 9 e raised to x minus 4 
upon e raised to x plus c. Now we need to convert it in that term. So let's do that. 36. So if I multiply e raised to x with this to cross multiply the fractions, it becomes 9 e raised to 2x minus 4 upon e raised to x plus c. So now we can apply that idea which we know. Log of a by b, I can write it as log of a minus log of b plus c. So now what I get? Minus 19 by 36 x plus 35 by 36 with log of 9 e ratio 2 x minus 4. Further, I have minus 35 by 36 again. And log of e raised to x plus c. Now, if you try to solve this further, what do you get? Minus 19 by 36 x plus 35 by 36 log of 9 e raised to 2 x minus 4. Minus this, what do you get? Is log of that is used. That log of a raised to b, I can write that as b log b. So I can use this as to write it minus 35 by 36 into x log e. And we know log e has the base e. So log e to the base e, this becomes equal to 1. So you can write this minus 19 by 36 minus 35 by 36 into x. Because both of them just have x, I can take out x common plus 35 by 36 log of 9 e raised to 2x minus 4 plus c. So what you get here, minus 19 and minus 35 gives you minus 54 by 36. You can just reduce this, you get it. 18 2s, 18 3s, right? x plus 35 by 36 log of 9 e raised to 2x minus 4 plus c. So now if I write the answer for the integral which I have got minus 3 by 2 plus 35 by 36 log of 9 e raised to 2x minus 4 plus c. Now if we compare this with the idea which was given to us that's at ax plus b log of 9 e raised to 2x minus 4 plus c, right? So if I compare this and this, what I get? a is minus 3 by 2, b is 35 by 36, c is some indefinite value that we can hold here. And we were also given in the option the value of a plus b, so let's find that as well. So minus 3 by 2 plus 35 by 36. So if I solve this further, I can make the denominator same by multiplying both sides by 80. So I get minus 54 plus 35 by 36. That becomes minus 18 by 36. Right? Now let's try to find out which of the options are correct. A is minus 3 by 2. B is 35 by 36. So if you see the options here, the first option is not correct because here A is given 3 by 2. We got it as minus 3 by 2. B is correct because it's 35 by 36. Also C, we already know it is indefinite. It can hold multiple values. A plus B is minus 19 by 36. We also got that. So the correct answers for the question which was given to us are the options B, C, D. So there are three correct answers for these questions that are B, C and D. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, right? So whenever such questions of integration are present, the first step you should do is try to convert the numerator as some value or some variable into denominator plus other variable into derivative of denominator. Then you can easily solve this question and complete it. And once we solve this, we got that three options are correct here. So there are three answers for this question which is given. That is B, C, A. Okay, so I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, share these videos with your family and friends. Thank you.